Hello everyone, my name is Fiona Donoghue and welcome back to the channel. If you remember last year or if indeed you were watching last year, you know I hold a nesting box uh, series every year. And last year's Mork and Mindy's nest box was our only successful uh, nest box. They managed to raise all their chicks that hatched and uh, they all fledged successfully, which was a great feat as the year across the country was quite dismal. Um, for other blue tits, as we saw in Biddy and Miley's, they kind of mistimed their hatch with their chicks and kind of missed the caterpillar boom, which then left very little to no food for the chicks. Um, but Mark and Mindy seemed to know what was what, and they managed to raise all their chicks as they laid a little bit earlier. And if you don't know what that what I'm talking about here, don't worry, I'll leave the series down below. You can go have a look. It's a great binge watch if you're into nature and nesting and certainly birds. And what I'm doing today is looking at the nest box of Mork and Mindy's. So as I mentioned earlier, they raised all the chicks that they managed to hatch. Why I say that is because there was one egg unhatched. And I think it's still buried in the nest here. Now, I don't know for sure. I have not looked in this nest. I have not opened it. It's been sitting in my shed since. Um, as I take them down at around autumn time or just as the weather starts getting cold, I like to clean them around that time as it means I get to it before a bird starts roosting it in the winter nights. Let's say at the moment we've had our first snow in Ireland. If I had taken this down on the, off the wall, let's say yesterday, there may have been a bird roosting in it night by night and then they don't know the nest is gone and they come back in the evening to their nice warm nest and it's not there on a night that's really cold and if they don't have a backup plan on where the roost you may leave that bird in a bit of a pickle so i always like to do it just before the cold weather starts at the end of summer coming into autumn so if you plan on doing this at home uh, what i would recommend as well if you ever want to do look at your nest i do recommend doing it outside um, as it does be quite a messy job and there's probably a lot of mites, there could be fleas, there could be a lot of things in this nest box because birds are wild animals and there are going to be parasites. Now it is all the natural order of things, uh, don't hold anything against these parasites, fleas or anything, they are just living their best life. But uh, that's why it's so important to clean your nest boxes year to year as these mites and stuff will lay dormant in the nest box over the season and then reinfect next year's brood if you don't clean it out. If you are interested in a cleaning video and a clean, cleaning nest box tutorial, by all means, give a shout shout out in the comments and uh, I'll get on that if you are interested, absolutely. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go looking for this one egg. There's one little egg in there. I hope, I really hope it's still intact as I really want to show you guys the scale of this egg. They are tiny little packages. They're, I've found them in previous years and they never cease to amaze me. One, the scale of them and two, they're just little packages of potential life. And there's something really amazing about that in my eyes. I don't know about you, but it's, the eggs are an amazing feat of evolution, really. Um, but yeah, no, they're they're a little miracle. Obviously, I'm a big fan. Hopefully, I can uh, show you guys and get you thinking the same. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to move the camera so you have a closer view of what I'm doing when I'm rooting through this nest box. Really excited for this. Let's see what we can find. All right, everyone, let's get into it. So you can see this nest box opens up like this and straight away we can see a little friendly spider just here. Um, so this is why I'd always recommend wearing gloves and stuff. I unfortunately don't have any, typical, when you need them. Um, but he's going straight down to that nest box. There's a wood louse here. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and take this nest box out. Okay, and here we have it. Here is our nest and you can see it's a perfect little shape of the nest and you can really see all our whole series took place on that little amount of space which is really cool to think about. This is the nest cup here 
Now, it was obviously more defined than this at one stage, but you can imagine between all the chicks, they got trampled down and down and down. So I'm gonna start rooting for this egg now. And I actually, straight away, we see it. There is the egg right there. Beautiful little egg, absolutely gorgeous. Let me see now, I have broken these in the past, trying to pick these up, so I'm going to extra gentle. Look at that. A little beautiful orange. Is that focusing for you? That is not focusing for you. All right, give me a sec, I'm gonna spin around that camera and we get that sorted out. So, as we can see, we've found the egg. I've spun around the camera so we can get a better look, and I'm gonna leave this egg just over here for the time being, and we're just gonna take a very quick look at the nest. And you can see, on the bottom, it's straw and hay, and you can see all the little mites coming out of it, and there's even a little caterpillar of sorts, so I'm gonna have to be quick, because I'm sure my girlfriend will not like the sight of this in our house but uh, I have paper down so we can wrap all this up fairly soon. So there's moss and then at the top there's feathers and some of you may remember this tiny little pink strand coming in. I remember distinctly myself that being brought in by, by Mindy. And she found that somewhere and it became part of her nest, which was really nice to see. So let's clean away this and get a look at the egg nest is put away let's take a look at the egg so this egg really is tiny we can really see it is minuscule especially when you're used to handling chicken eggs for your breakfast and such these are really really small they're covered in orange speckles generally forming at the bottom of the egg and um, they really are beautiful so the question still goes why did this egg not hatch? Well, it could be a number of reasons. There's plenty of reasons why they don't hatch. One being sometimes they get damaged, but I don't see any damage on this. It seems to be quite intact and looks like a perfectly healthy egg from the outside. Um, another thing what could have happened is maybe it didn't get incubated for long enough. Maybe it was the last egg hatched. And when you're the last egg to hatch, if all the other chicks are hatching, let's say a day before you or a few hours before you and they all hatch at once, the mother sometimes stops incubating. Now blue tits try to tackle this by starting the incubation of their eggs all at once to try to get all their chicks to hatch at once. And you, may have, you, you would have seen this this year in the nest box series, but sometimes it doesn't go perfectly to plan. We saw in Mork and Minnie that there was a couple of days in between some of the hatching. So maybe this chick was one that was growing but didn't get that last little bit of incubation due to the parents starting to feed the chicks. So a way to check that is to look through the egg. Now how you look through the egg, you throw some light behind it and look through it and see is there anything formed in the egg. And if you find that you can see a black shape curled up in the egg, that means the chick did start growing, but never came to hatch. So while you can't fully tell what happens, you can get a clue sometimes of what happened in the egg just from the outside. I wouldn't recommend cracking it open, as um, I'm sure it would be quite smelly and stinky by now. I'm sure it's all gone off at this stage. So, when I held this up to the light, what I saw is very little. It looked quite clear and there was nothing obstructing the light coming through the egg shell. Which means this egg probably just wasn't fertilized, which happens. Which means I don't think there was ever life to begin with in this egg, or life potential should I say. And that's the reason this little guy didn't come into uh, spring into life. But. Nonetheless, these little gems are absolutely gorgeous to look at. You, I really can't get enough of them when I look at them. Um, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm nearly sure it is illegal to keep these eggs, so these eggs need to be thrown out. You do find them though, however, when cleaning out nest boxes, 
but it is important to clean it out to make sure there's not ever a market for these eggs. You don't want to be part of the problem. There used to be awful problems years ago with people collecting eggs. So that's why it is important to always destroy these eggs, throw them away, throw them in a hedge somewhere, and nature will find a way to destroy them and uh, just to get rid of them. Never keep the eggs as it is illegal to keep the possession of them. So hopefully we get to see more of these eggs this year. I am in the process of upgrading my nest boxes. I've got new cameras and new nest boxes. Well, I don't have the nest boxes just yet as I'm still building them, but I am very excited about the prospects of this year. I'm gonna have two or three nest boxes up and we will see how that goes. So with that, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little egg and when you see it to the scale, off me it really is tiny i can never get over just how small they are um but with that being said that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned a little bit and um, it was really just to show you the egg and uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you look forward to um this coming spring the new nest box series very excited about that we'll have to choose names see who takes up reticence Maybe we're going to get some great tits this year. Um, I would I'd love to see some great tits nesting actually. And there's a lot in the garden these days. So hopefully we can get one of them. And maybe a blue tit nest as well. It'd be nice to have both running at the same time. That'd be great. So yeah. And, and if you're only back at the channel after a year's break. Take a look at some of my uh, more recent videos. I was out filming deer recently. And I videoed all the deer around Ireland. It's some, one of my favourite things to do. Is just wildlife filming in general. But I recently focused in on the deer. So take a look at that. It's a long video, but it's, it brings you across the three main species of deer in Ireland. So take a wee nosy at that. And in the meantime, we will look forward to spring. And we will see what the new nest boxes and the new cameras look like. Really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for joining me. And we'll see you again. Bye bye.